Hello everybody, I'm the Turtle and welcome back to yet another video. Today we are playing Total War 3 Kingdoms. Now the reason why we're doing this is because I thought it would be interesting to look at a battle game from the old medieval ages. Well not really medieval ages, but from the Asian dynasties. Now why do you think I would look at this game? Well I love big battles and I usually like the Total War series. Now I only have one problem with the Total War series and that is that they keep making the same game. A lot of the big differences in these games is that they change the diplomacy and some unit looks and the looks in general. Maybe they add like some special modes like in the Warhammer series there, Total War Warhammer, where you have some heroes that have abilities, which is pretty fun, and some more unique changes in units and a lot more variety in your unit types. Then again, I do enjoy my historical Total Wars as I feel like those ones get me mostly immersed and I feel very immersed when you have like a, a wall of archers or spearmen holding a fort or it's pretty epic. Now, okay, so let's say that you have been looking into getting three kingdoms and it's a bit hard to say if you would like it or not I mean it is up down to your own taste of course but I will tell you that in this game I've actually had a lot of fun with the archers some of the melee combat the romance mode in this game where your commanders become you know superheroes uh, I can't really say that I've tried the campaign too much yet but so far I have just been playing custom battles because I love making big battles and uh, trying to make myself struggle and have a last stand but you know it's hard sometimes it's fun to have like a slaughter army. Now the reason why I find this so cool is because you can get your generals to duel each other in romance mode. If you go to the other mode, I don't remember what it's called at the moment, but in that mode it's basically normal, normal commanders with a bodyguard complement. But in romance they can duel each other and they have like these very sick animations as they fight each other to the death. And I was thinking when I was sitting here playing this that imagine if Mordhau had battles of this size. I mean, to get me wrong, Frontlines is big enough already, but imagine if you could have a game, maybe not like Mordhau, I don't think it would work like that, but more like Mountain Blade style where it would fit a lot better having a mass scale war with people having proper shield walls and stuff like that. It's a much more easier thing to do rather than in Mordhau where everything is a bit more Call of Duty medieval warfare type. Then again, so far I will say that I would recommend Total War Three Kingdoms. If you do find it interesting, be sure to join into Discord and ask me about it right there because I'm usually online also we're going to try to improve on streaming currently this weekend I'm not going to be home but this video is posted on Saturday turtle yes it is but I'm not at home so but I'll be on discord so be sure to join that links in the description there's only a certain amount of before 100 sub club rolls so be sure to get one of those before they run out hopefully you find these small words of encouragement interesting to look into Total War Three Kingdoms uh, one YouTuber that I actually watch sometimes for Total War videos is Pixelated Apollo and I would recommend you to watch some of his stuff. If you do watch some of his stuff then be sure to be nice. Anyways I'm the Turtle and hopefully you had a good one. Until next time, bye bye.